Our final quarter final game uh, post game press conference tonight. Belmont Abbey concludes their season 24 to 3 after losing tonight to Central Missouri. Joining us now is head coach Jason Williams and also senior Ireland Davison. Uh, media members who are in with us in our Zoom, if you uh, would please use the Q&A section at the very bottom of the Zoom, type in your question. Also, please uh, indicate who you want the question directed towards. And uh, I will read those to our participants in our post-game Zoom press conference. Coach Williams, we'll start with you. If you could give me an opening statement, please. Um, uh, what a tremendous opportunity this was to be a part of a really good group of uh, individuals and uh, to watch the journey and the maturation process to get to this point has been truly um, a blessing on many different fronts to be a part of, just to be a part of such great people's lives. Um, and uh, my four seniors we missed. And uh, I appreciate everybody in Columbus for doing a great job of putting together an amazing event at a, at a great, uh, situation during COVID when we didn't have this opportunity last year. All right, Coach, thank you very much again for the media members. If you want to post a question, I will read it to them. Coach, I do want to talk about the game for a moment. Um, you, you struggled to shoot the ball tonight um, with your shooting percentage from both uh, two-point, three-point shots. What, what makes it so hard to play against Central Missouri's defense and what led to a poor shooting night for you guys? Uh, it was it, Central Missouri does a really good job on taking the, the very first action away consistently, and uh, their coach has been – doing this for years and, and he, he's, he's, he runs a really, really good program. Uh, and for us, you know, it, it just wasn't our night to be able to put the ball in the hole. You know, and I, I believe what we do and what we do works and, and uh, it's just time to be able to go back to that drawing board and continue to uh, work and, and be diligent in, in our process, you know, and it, but all the credit goes to Central Missouri uh, and being able to take away some, all of our actions and that, that life really, really bothered us consistently. And, and, uh, you know, I look forward to watching them in the final four. Is there anything that they did tonight that uh, you weren't expecting from them? Uh, this is almost the easiest game to prep for because you have the most time as opposed to the turnarounds. But uh, did they give you what you thought you were going to see? Yeah, we thought they were going to come in here and be physical. We knew that they were going to be switching screens consistently and they knew where they were going to contest uh, all the time, you know, and they were going to utilize their length at all four positions, all five positions, all four positions uh, to be able to switch screening actions. And uh, and be interchangeable, and uh, they do a really really good job, and they're they're are are as good as advertised, you know, and, and uh, they're going to make a really good run. And with that freshman group that they have, you know, they have the uh, opportunity to be really really good for the next four years. Ireland, I'll come to you. Your thoughts on the game tonight, uh, and how your team prepared, was ready to go, and I know you're disappointed, but uh, tell me about your experience here uh, as well as the game tonight. Yeah, so. We were so prepared. I don't think our coaches could have prepared us anymore. Um, yeah, they've always done a good job with prepping. But, um, yeah, it was just not our night um, from the three and from the two. And, you know, it's basketball. It happens. Um, I think we gave a good fight. Um, we never stopped trying. Um, and I'm just super proud of this group. And I'm going to miss my seniors so, so much. You know, we have such a unique group. And these bonds, they go more than basketball. Like, I will be able to talk to these girls when I'm 60, 70 years old. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll continue on that. It's it's a big group of seniors, and uh, I thought of the teams that didn't win tonight. Your team showed the most emotion even before the game was over. Uh, why was this group so special to you, Ireland? It's just that sisterhood. I mean, these are my best friends. They're not just my teammates, um, and we just we care so so much about every single person. Um, like I said, it's it's so much more than basketball, and with this group, like. I just get a loss of words because they mean so much to me. And that's why there's so much emotion um, derived in this game. And, you know, it, it hurt. It hurt really bad, um, especially for those that will be leaving. Um, but like we told them, like, you have to be proud because we wouldn't have got to where we are were today um, if it wasn't for them. Coach, can you take me through the journey of this season, not knowing if you were going to actually be able to, to have a season to going – 24 and three to getting all the way to an elite eight. And again, it's with obviously what was to the players and yourself, a very special group. Um, man, it, it, it's a, it's a very long journey for us in general, you know, because COVID and all the civil unrest and social injustice and everything else. And, and 
you know, from the beginning, our, our uh, administration, I'd say, consistently backed us to be able to uh, have a season. You know, at the beginning of the uh, the year, our, our administration, our president, our athletic director, they 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 uh, put their money where their mouth their mouth is a little bit, and literally was, you know, allowed us to have an opportunity to go and play games. You know, it allowed us the opportunity to be able to go and develop these kids holistically, both athletically and academically, as well as spiritually. You know, and and, and that. Um, backing for us really, really paid dividends towards the tail end of uh, our our season. You know, like the reason why these kids uh, were crying and, and the emotions were showing is because at the end of the day, they, they spend a lot of quality time with each other. And it, it, it is more than just basketball for us in general, you know, and, it, and my job and our job as coaches is to make sure that when they do walk out of the door, they are uh, better individuals and being able to uh, navigate this world and the, uh, the trials that, 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 um, that they're going to face. And uh, I feel very, very confident in the four seniors that are walking out the door that they will be uh, great human beings and productive members of society. And what does this mean for your program, a first Elite Eight? Um, obviously, it, it, it makes it easier to get back to a second one once you get to that first one, but uh, how much does it mean to get here? Yeah, like, it, it's, this, this, this venue and this opportunity and experience is – is tremendous, you know, and for our program to be able to reach that that opportunity uh, means a lot because, you know, it, it means that we're in the right path, we're doing the right things, and, and that we need to consistently keep uh, developing people, you know, and, and it's and not just focusing solely on the basketball aspect of it, and that's the reason why we got to this point, you know, because these seniors, you know, they read books, they, they did a fantastic job with uh, family time and spending quality time together, and, and being able to just uh, develop as human beings. All right, Coach. Thank you very much. Jason Williams, Head Coach Belmont Abbey and Ireland Davison, thank you for your time. Congratulations on a terrific season. Thank you very thank much. You.